I don't know how difficult it is to replicate that. We we're talking offline about uh, Boston Dynamics robots. Um, they've recently been, they did both parkour, they did flips. They've also done some dancing. And it's something I think a lot about because what most people don't realize because they don't look deep enough is those robots are hard coded to do those things. The, the robots didn't figure it out by themselves. And yet the, the fundamental aspect of what it means to be human is that process of figuring out, of making mistakes. And then there's something about overcoming those challenges and the mistakes and like figuring out how to lose yourself in the magic of the dancing uh, or just movement is what it means to be human. That learning process. So that's what I wanna do with the, with the uh, almost as a fun side thing with the, the Boston Dynamics robots is to have them learn and see what they figure out. Even if it, even if they make mistakes, I wanna let Spot make mistakes and in so doing discover what it means to be alive, discover beauty, because I think that's the essential aspect of mistakes. Boston Dynamics folks want Spot to be perfect because <laughs> they don't want Spot to ever make mistakes because it wants to operate in the factories, it wants to be you know, very safe and so on. For me, if you construct the environment, if you construct a safe space for robots and allow them to make mistakes, something beautiful might be discovered. But that requires a lot of brain power. So Spot is currently very dumb and I'm gonna add it, give it a brain. Uh, so first make it see, currently it can't see, meaning computer vision. It has to understand its environment, it has to see all the humans, but then also has to be able to learn learn about its movement, learn how to use its body to communicate with others, all those kinds of things that dogs know how to do well, humans know how to do somewhat well. Um, I think that's a beautiful challenge, but first you have to allow the robot to make mistakes. Well, I think um, your objective is laudable, but you're gonna realize that the Boston Dyna Dynamics folks are right the first time Spot poops on your rug. <laughs> um, I hear the same thing about kids and so on. Uh, yes. But I still wanna have kids. No, you, you should, it's, it's, it's a great experience. Um, so let me step back into what you said in a couple of different places. One, I have always believed that the missing element in uh, robotics and artificial intelligence is a proper development. Right? It is no accident, it is no mere coincidence that human beings are the most dominant species on planet Earth and that we have the longest childhoods of any creature on Earth by far, right? The de development is the key to the flexibility. And so uh, the capability of a human at adulthood is the mirror image, it's the flip side of our helplessness at birth. Um, so. I'll be very interested to see what happens in your uh, robot project if you do not end up uh, reinventing childhood for robots, which of course is foreshadowed in 2001 quite brilliantly.